Welcome back to the BCIT Passive House video series. Today we're going to be doing the mid-construction blower door test. This test uh, tests the air tightness of the building envelope and is usually done in the middle to ensure that you can still get to all the exposed building envelope to get the necessary repairs in if you need to patch any certain holes. Uh, this is the mid-construction blower door test. This happens right before the drywall and then after the drywall and all the finishing components are done, just before occupancy, we'll be doing another final blower door test. That number with the pressurizing and the depressurizing, the average of those two numbers are submitted to Passive House and that gets us our uh, actual air tightness rating. We'll blow the house full of air once it's full of smoke. We'll stand outside and we'll be able to see very easily and visually where is this smoke coming from and from there start to be able to make a few more diagnoses. Usually with um, City of Vancouver houses, they're aiming for 3.5 air changes. And at mid-construction, if they're at least below seven, we call it good. Did you find something? You need a blade? Yeah, you need yeah, a blade. There you go. Right now we're at 0.5. Even on pressurization, we were looking a little bit better. We've taped up a few of the weep holes uh, for better detections, but overall, um, we're in a good place and come final, I only expect it to get better. My name is Emma Conway, I work with E3 Eco Group and we're here today to do the final blower door test at the Radcliffe Passive House. First we're going to do a pressurization test, then a depressurization test and we're going to use the average results of the two uh, for the Passive House energy modeling. The numbers that we're going to test today will tell us the air tightness of the home. Uh, we're hoping to get at least 0.6 air changes, which is the Passive House standard. So to prep the home for the air tightness test today, we had to go around and seal up all exterior windows and doors because we're only testing the envelope of the home here today. So the first thing I need to do is figure out how much restriction we need. On a leaky home, I would remove a lot of the restriction because with a larger opening, you can move more air. Since this is a passive house, which is very airtight, I'm gonna be testing using these four openings. With this house, we're expecting anywhere between 30 to 34 square inches of equivalent leakage area. The equivalent leakage area is if you add together all the holes in the exterior of the building. So if you took each little hole and added it up to one area, it would be about 30 square inches, which is extremely tight. Uh, so this first pressure uh, is the pressure that I set. That's the difference between the inside and outside. Um, and the second pressure reading is basically how hard the fan has to work to uh, produce that pressure difference. All right, so we just finished the depressurization of the house, which is pulling the air out. Now what we have to do for passive house is a second test called a pressurization test. I'm going to flip the fan around and now we're going to be blowing the air into the house. And the idea is that we want sets of data in both directions. Alright, so the testing today went very well. So we were aiming for 0.6 air changes, which is the passive house standard. The results of our depressurization was 0.34. Well, the results of our pressurization was 0.32 air changes. So for the testing results, it's going to be 0.33, the average of the two. So that's great news. That means we're almost half, half under what we're supposed to be. Yeah, excellent. Congratulations. Okay, thanks so much.